welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're putting the body panels and all the assembly stuff on the 1913 Duesenberg cycle cart. So this is uh, we're in the finishing stretches here, finishing this thing up. So got all the body panels painted. My dad painted all this stuff over the last couple weeks. Today is July 13th. It's boiling hot outside here in Phoenix. It was 115 yesterday. It's going to be 111 today. Got a little AC unit over in the corner we're going to be running. Um, we're going to be riveting this together. So I've got a little 1 8 aluminum rivets. Um, so 1 8 inch rivets. These are aluminum. And then I've got silicone. So trick I learned when I built my Cobra projects years ago, my factory five Cobra that I built. Uh, use some silicone between these aluminum panels and your metal frame. Uh, cuts down on vibration and harmonics. Also, aluminum and metal can sometimes react and corrode. Funny things happen. So we put that in there to sort of isolate that and hopefully keep this thing from vibrating and making too much noise. So all the panels look pretty good. We're getting ready to assemble them. So uh, let's get cracking. So I've got two different lengths of rivets. Uh, they're both, they're all 1 8 inch, but they've got different shank lengths. So the short ones are for attaching panels to the metal and or just panel to panel. If you're attaching more than two panels, you want to use a longer one. Um, so the trick I use, and the, these are really handy, 1 8 inch drills, drill bits. You can buy them by the pack like this. Uh, the reason I get them by the pack is because you will dull them and break them when you're dealing, drilling all the steel. Another trick, because we've got three colors on this cart, red, white, and blue, is to pre-paint some of the rivets. So we painted all the panels off the car. I'll just kind of show you, they're sitting over here on the table right now. Uh, I do have to polish those a little bit. The other panels are kind of laying around the shop. I got the cowl over here on top of my cart and the side panels is laying in different places over here. So we assembled, painted everything and then painted all the panels and then we're gonna assemble it. So you could assemble it rivet it all together and then paint it, but because this had so many different colors on it, we felt it was easier just to paint it kind of all separately. So this works pretty good. I did it on my red car, uh, pre-painting the rivets. So anyway, let's get cracking. At this point I needed to get the pedals in before I put these other panels in. Um, I'm going to cover those with some protective covering. So let's do that now. I want to show you what that looks like. This is just temporarily in place. We're going to get a new axle. Um, I think our popping ax chain popping problem was because of the uh, other uh, sprockets. We put a new sprocket on it. Hopefully that will solve that problem and a new axle. Um, anyway, so everything's shiny and new back here. So let's go ahead and put the coverings on these to protect them from vibration and rubbing. Hopefully they won't crack while under uh, operation here. So let's get started on that. So this is what we're going to wrap the uh, brake lines in. Just some electrical conduit protection material, some zip ties. I've got these big uh, clamps. I was originally had them held in place with these small ones. And I was like, hey, without the, without the plastic cover in place. But with the plastic cover in place, uh, these are going to be a little too small. So we'll cover the entire thing with this. And it's going to look cool too. Right up against the white panels and the blue panels, red, white, and blue. Kind of a theme going on here. So uh, let's get this thing covered up. Oh, and by the way, I marked, you see the red mark on that line? Uh, so when you're bleeding the brakes, you know which line, if you see bubbles in it, you know which line is you're working on. So 
I've marked that kind of all the way throughout and then again at the back so you know which circuit you're working on as far as bubbles and it may not be totally necessary but I figured why not okay so that's all installed you got these little uh, brackets holding them in place there's another one that's going to go on the side panel here and that's how it's going to look inside this is going to get covered up with an aluminum panel which I'll install now so it runs all the way to the back and uh, the seat, it kind of rests against the seat right here. That's why I put it on here. I don't want that to vibrate against the seat. So anyway, I think that's a pretty slick installation. I need to run the uh, kill switch wire through there, and then I can put this panel on here. So uh, yeah, make it some fabulous progress. Okay, so July 14th, 2020, yesterday we put all these panels on the car, they turned out really super good. Got a little bit of polishing to do on the surface here. This um, Rust-Oleum paint, I'm not sure what's going on with it, but it's really hard to get to lay down completely shiny and perfect. See this little sh uh, kind of dry spots and there's even a little cracking happening or crazing, I don't know what you would call that. Um, really tough to get this to lay down right. Um, one panel will be perfect, the next panel not so good. So I think it's maybe a combination of the heat and painting aluminum. I'm not sure. Just I had the same problem on my red car. Uh, we're ready to install the grill. So last night, I didn't film this, but I went ahead and installed these uh, mesh material in the grill. And what I did was I used silicone, put it down a bead of silicone all around it, laid the mesh in, and then another bead of silicone on top to kind of encapsulate it. Um, so it should be nice and secure. This is just like screen, screen door shade material. I think it's more like a shade material. Um, cuts pretty easily, installs nice, and it looks really good. So we'll get this installed and then get to work on that grill protector. And then the body is just about done. I know the tail's not on it, but that's not here right now. But uh, the main body panels are all installed. So uh, coming together pretty good. Okay, so I think we're going to call that the end of this one. Uh, I put the front grill protector on and painted that uh, number 10 on the front there. with uh, Just masked it off and hand painted it. Uh, pretty simple to do. It's turned out pretty good. It looks a lot better on the camera here. I've got a little bit of uh, buffing and polishing to do, so I'll install this permanently later. It's just kind of sitting on there now, so you can kind of get an idea what it looks like. And i got the tail section just sitting on here. Um, it's going to get assembled with screws here. Excuse me, here. There's three screws on each side. And we do have to buff that out a little bit. Um, turned out pretty good. I'm loving this red, white, and blue. That's exactly what the original car looked like. Um, here we go. I'll show you what the the grill look like in relation to this so it's a pretty good facsimile uh, this modern version of this car is, the, the grill and radiator are brass when it ran in period those were painted so hard to get brass paint or to make this out of brass so we just painted it like it did back in 1913 and uh, try to as run so we got to add some stickers and some graphics but otherwise it's pretty well done I think it turned out pretty well I'm trying to find a picture of the side of it so I can show you a nice side view so yeah so here we go um, red white and blue red white and blue so we got to add some number 10s to it to complete the look and then we'll add an exhaust pipe later but right now we're not gonna put the exhaust on for this race it's just not enough time to get this whole thing put together and do everything we need to do so uh, next up is just to finish the drive line install the sprocket and brake and all that stuff and uh, get it on the ground and running so we'll do that in another episode thanks for watching guys thanks for subscribing uh, we do have some t-shirts available for the Huntsville Grand Prix uh, on our Etsy site so I'll try to link that here at some point in the description so if you guys want a t-shirt of the um, Grand Prix cycle cart t-shirt that's available on Etsy under Arizona cycle carts on uh, the Etsy site so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing you guys have a great day